Mindy, is that your to-go ranch? This is the one I put in my purse. <laughs> Guys, what up? It's just me today. Only me. It's gonna be a Bizzle vlog all day, all the way. Hello and good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning. We, we need like a little in between, like the Brandon and the very low key Mindy. We'll go right mm. in the middle with a hello and good morning, everyone. Oh, I was gonna do and good morning, like it was like a tag team. Let's try that. Nope. So you do help. Although you guys, speaking of this, Brandon and I had this we're conversation using all this? yesterday. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yes, we are using all this. Brandon and I had the question the other day that we should make a shirt that says Hello okay. and good morning. I'm a trillion percent in on that one. Hello and good morning T-shirt. I love it. But hello, Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome back Afternoon. to the Bagel's house. Woo Today we are clearing counter space in the kitchen because we're gonna be filling it up with a super sick Costco haul of epic New Year's proportions. I knew you were gonna use the word proportions. Yeah. I just barely cleaned out the pantry. Over the holidays, we bought a ton of stuff. We used some of it. There was some stuff we didn't even touch. I shared with the neighbor. A couple of neighbors took over some of the things that we didn't exactly like that we bought. I don't know what you're talking about. I like everything we got at the holidays. I, I will tell you, I offered this. <laughs> we have a neighborhood so Facebook group. Heavy. I offered this and I got no hits. <laughs> We've recently gone to Sam's Club. We're gonna go back to the roots, back to, we're gonna go to Costco. Costco, you guys, and we are gonna go with a little bit of a New Year's mindset. We're both also very hungry right now, so that's not the greatest time to go I shopping, so you don't know that. what's gonna end up in the cart. It should be interesting, but we are gonna go, like, mom has got, like, ground turkey on the list. That's never been on there. You might see some vegetables. Who knows? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. A little bit of a New Year vibe <laughs> to this shopping haul. We're gonna go get in the car right now. Is it all, like, unloaded so that we can then load it? Let's try something a little bit different this time. We're gonna bring disposable masks because we feel like you can actually hear us talking better through them. In Costco, when we talk, you're already not yelling like you are in your own house, which is funny because that's like the indoor voice should not, well, whatever, I yell anywhere I am. But like, you just don't want to be like this loud, obnoxious distraction in Costco. So we don't yell, but then you've also got the mask, and sometimes I don't know if you guys can hear us very it's clearly. Hard. We found that the disposable mask you can actually hear a little bit better through, so we're gonna yeah. try that today. Hit the like button if you're able to hear us better in the disposable mask, and that will know that those are better for talking. But we are not disposable. <laughs> Workout and a post workout. <laughs> the shopping hall is underway. We've just begun. We already loaded up on our protein drinks, one of the classic staples that we get every single time we come. And they're a steal of a deal today because they're seven dollars off. That's a so lot. So we got four of them. Got four of those, and then we grabbed a package of protein drinks that was on the way. Like as you walk in, they have some of their big yeah, deals right there by the for front. For the kids, they're I think kids. they'll really like them in the morning. Less sugar, I think they're like organic, or maybe the brand is organic. I don't know. Anyways, they are the kids um, are always based. they always want some of the protein drinks, and so we're gonna get those for the kids. And mom was saying as she started grabbing some other things that a lot of the things that are already on our list are on sale today. There's a I lot. Great sales so going many on today. things, even these. I love these things, and they're still of a deal today. Lots of steals of deals. We're just walking through here. This was our quiet aisle. Happened to be a good aisle to go down. Brandon is looking for a little vacuum that can clean out the popcorn from where the it kids are. It was actually the only it. thing on my <laughs> Christmas list. Like it was a silly thing on my Christmas list, but Santa forgot. Wah, wah, it wah. was. We can take the quest back and get this. No, no, it's good. I'll keep that. Okay, okay. This will be really awesome. And the good thing here is whenever you buy from Costco, if it doesn't hold up or it's not what you want, they're really, really great about returns. As we got started today, I told Mindy, we got to do a better job of staying focused this time. Sometimes we find ourselves wandering in aisles that we have no business being Squirrel. in, picking up reams of paper and vacuums that, you know for the what? basement. You just stop around. Guess now. what? That was on That's my exactly list. how we're starting. <laughs> came in the refrigerator section. First of all, you need a coat to come in here. Second of all, crew has been devouring pomegranates as fast as we so can get them. They're so good. I also he loves saw them. a recipe. I think Scarlett from Made It Ate It loved it. She made guacamole with what? pomegranates. What? With pomegranates? It's like a burst of flavor in your mouth. Okay, that sounds amazing. I'm going to get a couple though because crew will finish these today if we don't get a few of them. And I can freeze them. So we are going to get some ground beef because I think that that's going to be like a staple. We have that inside of our meat sauce for spaghetti. We do tacos, yeah, but we do hamburgers. Yeah, but this is a little different because it's one and a third pound. Normally, they're just a pound. We do this one still? Yeah, do that. That's going to be a little extra. Then also tomorrow two. for dinner, we're going to do ribs with Maddie. We need to get some ribs. Do we and like we wanna... beef ribs or pork ribs though? Definitely beef. No, definitely pork. <laughs> Crap. I don't know. Prime is the good one, right? Prime is the only way to go. I really think we need pork. I think you're right too. We also want to be doing some more things on the Traeger. So I said we pick up, should we pick up just one tri tip? Or I feel like we always eat but we can freeze them. one and a half or we have friends but over. Those are big. Those what are they huge. Have That's just the single and then there's that. My favorite is Costco meat. Unless I'm in a super huge buy and I'll run to the grocery store, but Costco is where I stock up on my meat, throw it in the freezer. It's awesome. 
Boom, had to go to the back for those bad boys. Yeah, They're all got sold out, so we got that one. That's tomorrow's dinner right there. Oh my gosh, I am so in the mood for some ribs. And ironically and funny enough, Maddie said she's never even had ribs before. That she can recall, that she can recall. But daddy will do them upright. Giving this a shot. I gotta say, this will be our first time, I think, ever getting ground turkey. Okay, but look how good those even look I to me. I think it's gonna be good. I think we'll do it as a substitute in some of our things. So then we we're gonna be like, we should tacos. just go ground turkey every time. New year, new you, Mindy. Hopefully. It's another thing that I just cannot leave Costco without is a package of Bill Bailey's. Mindy said she found one in the freezer as she was doing some of the cleanup. So we have one at home. We're gonna go with that. But this, another staple in the Bingham house, Bill Bailey's carne asada, found I think only at Costco. The kids, every time we get Chinese food, are always wanting the noodles because of teppanyaki. They I love know. the noodles that we get there. So we've tried to recreate that taste other places. I think we've had this once and the kids liked it, but we can't really remember. But it, is, it doesn't come with any meat or anything. So we could grill up some chicken and throw that in. That'd be good. Or I'm some gonna... ground turkey, Mindy. We hey, have it. I'm gonna get two of them. Okay. Easy dinner in three, two, one. Mindy! I'm gonna get some drinks for the basement. The kids have been asking, especially now that we're down there more together as we're in the winter months, the kids want some drinks down there in the refrigerator that they can have. And I said, we gotta find things that aren't like bright red and that aren't energy drinks either. This is a madhouse here today, like an absolute madhouse. So we are tucking away down <laughs> aisle here so we can quickly talk to you guys real quick. We found some drinks for the kids. We also, yeah. the one thing they wanted is Capri Suns. Mom said we got some I of those I have some in, in the basement. basement. So a lot of things that we're finding today as we go through and we're looking for things, a lot of the stuff we already have at home, it's either in the freezer, mom went to the pantry today, ended up finding some things in there. Yeah. We realized we don't need as many things as we thought we would need. The hall itself, a little bit smaller than usual, which is nice. Well, but also Brian, nice we're to only use... like halfway done. Oh, so we got more to go. Yeah. I thought we were done. Okay, here we go probably have seen the kids playing with their blend jets. In fact, I think we've got like three of them now. The kids got asked for them yes. for Christmas and they love making their own smoothies. So we're gonna pick up a frozen fruit mixture. They can blend their own smoothies <laughs> well, with. Well, I saw today they made smoothies and they went through one whole bag. So I honestly think they make smoothies almost daily now. Bought juice today when I went to the store. They're like, oh, well, I'm so glad you got juice so we can make our smoothies again. You wanna get these? I love these. Another fun, like fun family activity that we do yeah, is make an individual activity. pizzas. And for having the kids' friends over tonight, this that could be a fun be a thing fun to do. Idea. Another classic staple for us and the chat fam, chicken melts. Yep, too? Derek saw one of our hauls and he was like, dude, we do not go to Costco without grabbing chicken melts. Just as good, Sam's Club makes sausage and egg and cheese one that's really good too. Very good. I think the chicken melts are a little bit better, but you're able to fit that. It's getting pretty heavy to push and pull. We're trying to keep it to one cart this time versus the 16 carts the last time we were at Costco. Oh yeah. But if we can get it to one cart, be best. I think that's gonna be better. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's kind of trippy. This is two different boxes, but side by side it completes the picture and no other box setup is doing that except for that one for some reason. <laughs> Mindy, is that your to-go ranch? This is the one I put in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I want to shove you in there so bad. <laughs> I tried buying a berry syrup at the store because the kids love this so much and I hadn't come to Costco in a while. So they're gonna be delighted when I come home with this guy. It's 505 though, Mindy. This is not your 501 jeans. This uh, is 505. I wish it was the 808. Sauce. We're in the 801. What's 808? Hawaii. Oh my gosh, I feel so dumb, of course. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know. I feel like we're doing pretty good. This cart is getting very full. I think we haven't hit I the snack section yet. I am out of breath. It's which makes me a little so bit nervous. Little... Could be a little bit overflowing by the time we get to the snacks. The part when we stop wandering and we should go home. Yeah, this is when you call it quits, you guys. We're gonna start to wrap this up, grab a few last things, get it home, lay it all out, and show you what we ended up with. New year, new me. We've got these JoJo's guilt-free chocolate. No, Reese's Pieces. These are actually very good and the kids love these. So I'm gonna grab two of these. Trying to fill the house with healthier snacks for the kids rather than that kind of stuff. Right, B? Yeah, I guess. I think we're almost done. Here's the checkouts, but there is a free We've cart got a, an empty in cart, the guys. candy section. Let us know, do we go second cart or do we stick to one cart? Comment below if you're this able to. This is hard, to. this is hard. Three, two, one. Everyone said get a second cart full of candy. I just looked on it. <laughs> We have tried really hard to get some healthier options for the kids, for the family. Just trying our best. Baby steps, you guys, baby steps. We're doing our best. We definitely still love treats. That's
that's never going to stop. We're oh, not yeah, going to stop sure. eating treats, sorry. We are going to try and make better choices when we can. Choice try now. Which checkout's going to go fastest? I guarantee I choose the oh wrong one. Oh my gosh, we always go to two separate ones. And He's I'm always, always the wrong. Slower one. Always. <laughs> Look, there's a break in the action. Let's go. <laughs> you go ahead. You have no. Okay, we'll do this one. I'm not cutting you off with this load. It makes you feel like this is cotton candy based on the packaging, but then it's organic, so I'm not really sure. Cotton candy's vegan, so going vegan in 2021. <laughs> Hey, but you stuck to one cart, Mindy. I'm proud of you. You've made it successfully out of Costco with one cart. Now it might be stacked 10 feet high, but it is one cart's worth. We're about to load all this up into the back of the van, and I think it's gonna fit. And if it doesn't, I'll just leave you here. Okay, I would trade me for this food too. Here are you little cuties. Sweetie, I was talking to the oranges. Another successful haul at Costco. Let's go home, show you everything we got, and then we have to put it away. Really got home, brought everything in the house. This was a minor game changer today, Brandon will even admit. I usually say no to the boxes, but we put it in the box, made it so much easier to bring inside the house. As you can tell, we kind of stocked up on the meat because it seems in our house, we always have all the other things that go with the meal, just never the actual main meat. So we got some tri-tip, we got ribs we're doing tomorrow, we got spare ribs, ground beef, ground turkey. We did go for some other awesome options. We got some of these salad kits. These are our favorite. They're just super easy to have on hand. Whip them up. Couple things that we've never tried, these plantain chips. We got these crispy coconut rolls in here in the back. We did get some more fruit for the kids because they love making those smoothies. One thing that we're excited to try that we've never had are these kids protein drinks. So we'll see if they're good. We are big and through. <laughs> so we did bring home a few treats, but it's fun because some of these things that are, that are actually kind of healthy are really good. These are the kids' favorites. They're super easy to throw in your purse if you're ever on the go. Another thing I absolutely love, this is probably my 10th box of them that I've ever bought. All the way over here, these fig bars, all plant-based. I don't know why I don't like a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I love fig bars. Those are my favorite. Kids have actually really turned into liking them too. Of course, the kids still love their chocolate muffins. What I'm going to do with these, because we can't go through this many in one time, I'm going to cut them in half, put them in a Ziploc, and throw them in the freezer so the kids can take them out whenever they want them. Also got some really fun drinks for the kids for the basements. We got the Gatorades, we got the Izzy's, we got the Naked Juices, although those better stay upstairs. Also fun to try some stuff we've never tried before, this buffalo style chicken dip. That sounds really good. Another thing we've never tried, these green pea snack crisps. Hopefully they're good. They look like they could be delightful. We'll give those a shot. Other things we just got staples that we know we love from Costco. We love to do Costco hauls. We have a whole playlist just of Costco hauls. So if you'd like to see more of the videos that we've done like this, go to our playlist. We'll link it for you. Just all the fun grocery hauls that we love to do. And also, please let us know. This is a way for you guys to engage with us and let us know. Please hit that like button if you feel like you could hear us better through those disposable masks. They were very easy, I know, for me to hear Brandon, even just in person. That seemed like a super huge win for us. As always, thanks for hanging with us. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. See you later. I want to shove you in there so bad. <laughs> this is the one I put in my purse. <laughs> definitely, no, definitely pork. <laughs> Crap. <laughs>